Now before we start to find the tension in the string A, what I would suggest you do is you make a sketch of the diagram and we need to mark in the acceleration of A. We're told that A descends with an acceleration of a quarter G. So let's just put that in that that's a quarter G. Then we need to mark in the forces acting on A. Well we're going to have the weight which acts downwards so the weight is mg normally and so in this case the mass is 5m so it's going to be 5m multiplied by g. So that's the weight on A and then there's going to be a tension in the string acting upwards let's say that is T newtons. Now we need to find T so we've got enough here to do that so all we need to do is think about considering A, let's just mark that down here so that the reader can understand what we're doing let's say we consider A and we're going to apply Newton's second law that is that force equals mass times acceleration in a downward direction so we're going to resolve downwards always resolve in the direction of motion so what is the resultant force downwards? Well it's going to be 5mg and then we've got minus t. And that resultant force equals the mass times the acceleration. Now the mass then is 5m so I can put that in and we know that the acceleration is a quarter g. So all we need to do is just tidy this up. So what we can do is just rearrange this. If we add t to both sides and subtract this term from both sides, we've got t that equals 5mg minus 5 times a quarter. So that's going to be 5 quarters mg. So simplifying that, 5mg, that's 20 quarters. 20 quarters take away 5 quarters is going to be 15 quarters. 15 quarters mg newtons is the tension in the string A. Alright, and that brings us now to the end of the first part of this question.